to rob you. Yeah, pinched it off you at the last minute, and I'm sorry, but I am allowed to feel good about that. <laughs> That's right. See you, people. Thank you. On Seven's Gold Coast News, a border runner arrested on the beach. How the COVID checkpoint caught him out. Calls to fast-track fixing a notorious black spot that claimed four lives at the weekend. One of the coast's wettest winter days ever. How much rain fell at the weekend? Pioneering cataract surgery on the coast with less pain and a faster recovery. And shredding it with the best, a guitar prodigy at just 11 years old. Live from the Gold Coast, 7 News, with Rod Young and Amanda Abate. Good evening. A wanted man has been arrested on a beach after fleeing from the border checkpoint at Gold Coast Airport. The fugitive led police on an hour-long foot chase, even changing his clothes to avoid capture. Cornered at Coolangatta, the man in red had nowhere to go but the back of a police van. Over there, that dog squad, a whole lot is pretty wild for a Monday morning. Captured in the dunes, wearing a white shirt, a disguise that failed following an hour-long foot pursuit. Jumped a few fences, he was on a roof. The 24-year-old arrived on a flight from Sydney around midday, but while being screened at a COVID checkpoint, he was found to have an outstanding return to prison warrant. It was the last thing police needed, with all travellers who'd been to the Sydney hotspot of Fairfield now banned from Queensland. Everyone needed a new pass. What we want to see at the moment are vehicles with an expiry uh, date of 1 August or later. Combined with the start of a new school term in the Tweed, it was the perfect storm for delays. A bit behind schedule today, only two hours. Here in New South Wales, another 17 cases have been recorded, more than three times the number of active cases in Queensland but it's not clear at what figure Premier Palaszczuk will follow through with this threat. We will not hesitate, if it gets out of control, to slam the border shut. Alex Lewis, 7 Gold Coast News. Isabel Mullen has more on that dramatic pursuit from the airport. Isabel, what happened during the manhunt? Good evening, Amanda. When police finally caught up with the wanted man on the beach, he appears to have changed his clothes in an effort to disguise himself. Police will allege that during that hour-long chase, he broke into a Tugan man's home, stealing his clothes and a watch before running away. Now, I spoke exclusively to the victim of that robbery and we'll have those details coming up tonight at 6. Thanks, Isabel. Well, the weekend tragedy on the Narangma Willamba Road has prompted calls to fast track a planned upgrade. Four university students are the latest victims of the notorious black spot. Four young friends, university students, each with the world at their feet. Everything was starting to come into place for them. And then, you know, this happens and it's not fair. On Saturday afternoon, Katrina McHugh, Courtney Smith, Kirsten Van Gorp and Lachlan Parker were driving along Narangma Woolumba Road when they lost control in the wet and collided with a ute. All four died at the scene. I lost my sister and I lost my friends that were like family to me. It's unspeakably tragic. The 36 kilometre stretch of road and its surrounds is notorious. 16 people have died and 31 hospitalised from crashes in the past six years. Traction on the road um, isn't quite good enough. There's some aquaplaning and particularly that section where the fatality occurred. With more lives lost, there are now urgent calls to fast track a $34 million safety upgrade planned for next year. We need to make sure that the locals who drive the road, who know the dangerous section are consulted. We need to have passing lanes, we need to have turning lanes. There are also pleas to reduce speed limits in the area. Those sort of things are actually reviewed as part of the investigation and as part of any coronial inquest that may occur down the track. To spare anyone else the pain of losing a loved one at the black spot. Kate Ryan, 7 Gold Coast News. One of the coast's wettest winter weekends on record has left its mark across the city. The downpours were what you'd expect in the middle of summer. After a night of unsettling, chilly westerly winds, the Gold Coast woke to a stunning day. The sea sparkled at surfer's paradise, but there were signs of the wild weekend just gone. Muddy water flowing from Telebudgera Creek is snaking around burly heads. The Narang River is brown as the rainwater heads downstream. It had been intense. Close to 150 millimetres fell in more than a dozen suburbs. Mudgerabar Creek broke its banks. The showgrounds were swamped. Out here at Wrongbury, uh, the creek just started flooding. 
parts of the M1 was awash. You don't see this stuff every day. Police closed some roads. One driver had to be towed out of the flood at Carrara. Wheelie bins were washed off streets. The Richmond AFL side, isolated in their temporary accommodation at Carrara, were even more so when floodwaters formed a moat. Quite an unusual amount of rainfall falling in a short amount of time. Water tanks overflowed at this home in Labrador, but the most rain came down in Helensvale, 184 millimetres, four times the July average in less than a day. Josh Anset. Seven Gold Coast News. Now to Seven News meteorologist Tony Orden. And after the rain, it's been all about the wind today, Tony. Yes, it has, Rod. We've seen a lot of change in our weather over the past few days and today's dry westerly winds have probably helped a few people catch up on some much overdue laundry, though you might have needed a few extra pegs. Here are the strongest gusts. The seaway led the charge on 59 k's an hour that was recorded just before 3pm. Lighter with 50 k's an hour at Coolangatta and 46 at Canungra, where it's a little bit more sheltered amongst the hills. How long will these winds hang around? Amanda, I'll be back soon with the forecast. Thank you, Tony. The developers of a proposed surface paradise super tower are seeking a council extension to delay the start of construction until 2025. The $1.2 billion Orion Towers project was first approved three years ago. One tower would be 103 storeys, the other 76. The main tower would top the Q1 spire by six metres. Local seniors are the first in the country to have breakthrough cataract surgery with less pain and downtime. It's thanks to a small pen-like device that's producing remarkable results. On the greens at Musgrave Hill, 75-year-old Terry Grounds has a secret weapon, vision that's better than 2020, good enough to fly a fighter jet. I can play bowls a lot better now. Yeah, I can see well. I don't know how to play bowls any better, but I can see what I'm, the mistakes I'm making now. After struggling with his sight for the past six months, he underwent pioneering cataract surgery in Southport using this small device. This new technology, we're not having any ultrasound energy, no laser energy, we're not having sharp instruments inside the eye. Southport off Ophthalmologist Dr Nick Andrew is the first in the country to use the lens fragmentation pen called MyLoop. It's analogous to cutting a, a block of cheese, a cheese wheel with a wire. Um, it's very simple. There was no real pain at all. It was not very non-invasive. Cataract surgery is most common among patients aged 65 and over. This new procedure can reduce recovery time and improve safety. Patients achieving full recovery of their vision or seeing 20-20 after surgery, but within a day after surgery. Tina Benton has cataracts in both eyes. It's not something that happens overnight, it, it's slow. She underwent the surgery in Southport this afternoon with her eye on greater independence and a better golf game. I'd just like 2020 vision, which would be absolutely super. It's safe, it's a smooth instrument. Uh, so, uh, so in terms of success rate, uh, uh, very high. Holly Fallon, Seven Gold Coast News. More financial help is now available to university students doing it tough. The details are just ahead. Plus, debate rages over Tom Tate's plan for the trams to bypass Palm Beach. A big test for lifeguards before they're allowed back on our beaches. And shredding with the best, the guitar hero who's only 11 years old. On 7 News, more southerners locked out of Queensland. One man does a runner. We have the moment he's arrested. We track down the woman behind the Bunnings mask blow up. Pain free, good to go the next day. A cataract surgery first on the Gold Coast. And the Logan suburbs at Banishing Hoons. 7 News at 6. This is a very difficult thing for me to judge. It was uh, extraordinary. You moved me. And that's just the start. Let's do it. Gave me goosebumps. America's Got Talent on the new night, Tuesday, 7.30 on 7. Cross River Rail will change the way we travel across the whole of South East Queensland. It begins at Bogger Road and is Brisbane's new underground. Featuring a new station at the Gabba, a new station in the heart of our CBD at Albert Street, a new Grand Central station at Roma Street, and a new station open all year round right here at the Echo. Construction has well and truly started. Search Cross River Rail for everything you need to know. Authorised by the Queensland Government, Brisbane. What's your name? Ah, oh, sorry. I've already got a boyfriend. <laughs> 
Did someone say KFC? I don't care. I love it. Here's Lisa. She got no assistance lifting this heavy bag of cement and sprang a leak. But Lisa has poise. New Poise Thin and Discreet Extra Pads are 45% thinner than Poise Extra Pads with the same protection. It takes poise. This is a nighttime clear aligner from Smile Direct Club. Go from a smile like this to a smile like this while you sleep for up to 60% less than braces. Get started for free at smiledirectclub.com.au. At My Budget, we help people do better with their money. Just like Lindsay and Steve. Since being with My Budget, we have set up a fantastic family life. To hand over the reins to someone else, for me, was the hard thing to do, and I am disappointed I didn't do it four years ago, but I'm happy that I'm doing it now. Join the 110,000 Australians who are now doing better with their money. Call My Budget today for your free consultation. Here at Set for Life, celebrating winners is a full-time job because our Division I winners don't just win once. Yes, Gary! They win 20K every month for 20 years. Carol! Yep, it's 20K day! Congratulations, you've won! Free! It keeps us pretty busy. Set for life, it's 20K on replay. Play now in-store at thelot.com or on the Lot app. Stay healthy by staying informed and start the journey towards feeling your best with NIB. From tips to mentally recharge, to workouts at home, deliciously easy recipes, and how to access important health services. The Checkup is NIB's online content hub created by industry experts, full of ideas and inspiration for healthy living, and it's available to all Australians. Search NIB's The Checkup today. It's worth it. Sunboost is continuing to support Australian households with affordable solar by extending the end of financial year discount. Install a 6.6 kilowatt system, just 3591. Extended to Friday, July 31 only. Call 1300 Sunboost. The vigilante residents stopping hoons in their tracks on southeast streets. Smoke, the street was full of smoke. Recording them on camera, seizing their cars. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> the exclusive video of the neighbourhood steam, only on 7 News at 6. Residents of Palm Beach are sharply divided over Mayor Tom Tate's latest light rail plan. His latest proposal for the airport stage is to avoid the beach suburbs altogether. Like it or not, in three years' time, trams will be barrelling right into Burley Heads. The plan is to then extend the line to the airport by going straight down the Gold Coast Highway. The Gold Coast Highway is too crammed. It's too skinny. So the Mayor's proposal is to avoid Palm Beach, Corumbin and Chugan altogether. We don't want protest and uh, people lying on the track while we're constructing. Tom Tate wants to send the light rail over the Talabudgera Creek Bridge, then turn inland at 19th Avenue, head along the M1 down Chugan, Corumbin Road and back along the Gold Coast Highway to the airport. I think it's a good move. I think it's, I think it's thinking wisely. Yeah, it's using the space. Robin Hemmings and Melody Wheeler disagree. They live on 19th Avenue, which would be Come ground zero. Be chaos. It'd be dangerous, actually. It's going to be the last spot before the nursing home. <laughs> but maybe it might be sooner. The street is wide enough for a tram to run right down the middle, and no land resumptions would be needed. Diverting the tram line inland will add another 1.7 kilometres to the track and cost an extra $20 million to build. It's a soft political option that's available. And now up for robust debate. Kate Ryan, 7 Gold Coast News. Griffith University has extended its COVID support bursary to help cover the living and education costs of students struggling during the pandemic. 3,000 students have already accessed more than $4 million in grants. A further $2.2 million has been made available. Students who are in serious financial need can apply. Most of them are getting around $1,000 in bursary. Instead of an open day this year, the uni is doing a 12-week open house online. It allows potential future students to have a virtual look around the campus. Radio presenter Bianca Dye has returned to the local airwaves as part of the hit 90.9 breakfast team. She joined Ben Hannett and Dan Anstey from this morning. A budding rock star who plays a mean guitars on the coast while recording an album. 
Taj Farrant may only be 11 years old, but he's already played with the legendary Carlos Santana. We'll show his sensational shredding in just a few minutes. But sport is next and a big weekend for Titans recruiters, a man. Well, that's right. It overshadowed a gutsy effort on the field. David Fafita has committed to the club for the next three years with two big names on the way out. Plus why Tim Zhu has relocated here so close to his big fight against Jeff Horn. Tomorrow on Sunrise, how your trash can be someone else's treasure. The boom in second hand as Aussie families turn spring cleaning into cash. See you tomorrow, Gold Coast. On 7 News, more southerners locked out of Queensland. One man does a runner. We have the moment he's arrested. We track down the woman behind the Bunnings mask blow up. Pain free, good to go the next day. A cataract surgery first on the Gold Coast. And the Logan suburbs at Banishing Hoons. 7 News at 6. Captain Strand, we want you to come down to Texas to build an entire station from scratch. Okay, but I choose the firefighters. This crew can't just be good. Have you got what it takes? They gotta be the best. Have and this scene is medical, so I run the call. So you do what I say, Captain. Rob Lowe. A shovel again. And Liv Tyler. I think a man should have to earn his cowboy boots. Get ready for the new action thrill ride. 911 Lone Star. Tonight, 8.30 on 7. Time for a little break? Head to Macca's and get four of your favourite classic burgers in our new McBurger box for just $16.95 or warm up with our range of hot and tasty pies for just $1.50 each. We've all seen a lot of change over the years. But it's good to know you can still count on one thing. Budget Direct being named Money Magazine's Insurer of the Year once again. Isn't it time you gave Budget Direct a closer look? Budget Direct. Insurance solved. One, two, three, four. So clap it back. Hey, clap, clap. So clap it back. Centrum provides multiple health benefits in just one tablet. Centrum. Complete from A to Zinc. Don't let this deal be news to you. Lock in full digital access to the Courier Mail plus seven day paper home delivery for just $1 a day for the first 12 weeks. Search the Courier Mail offer. The stylish Havel H2. A globally engineered, European designed and feature packed SUV. From just $22,990 drive away. Havel H2 Auto. New car thinking. Why can I have a strong skin like Strong skin latte, please. Sorry, could you repeat that, please? Sir, did you say strong skin latte? Yeah, medium, please. When only drive through will do, we'll be here. Today, parents face constant judgement. But none of that matters. Because when your baby is happy and healthy, you know your way is the right way. So you can feel as comfortable in your skin as your baby's skin feels in Huggies Nappies. It must be love, love, love. Nothing more, nothing less. Huggies, be comfortable in your skin. On 7 News, more southerners locked out of Queensland. One man does a runner. We have the moment he's arrested. We track down the woman behind the Bunnings mask blow up. Pain free, good to go the next day. A cataract surgery first on the Gold Coast. And the Logan suburbs at Banishing Hoons. 7 News at 6. Despite failing to capitalise on a gutsy effort against the competition leaders, the Titans can now see some light at the end of the tunnel. Star Bronco David Fafita has pledged his allegiance to the club for the next three years. After months of negotiating, the Titans finally got their man. 
David Fafita will play for the Coast from next season. We all know what a great player that he is and, and he's only so young and that, that's what I'm excited about. It took three and a half million dollars over three years to secure the Kiba Park kid. Even in other new players we've got signed, he's, he's already got, you know, relationships with them. Providing future hope for a side which has only once made the finals and seems destined to miss out again. And he scored a try and Penrith kicked clear. Despite showing glimmers of real potential against ladder leaders Penrith. I think we're learning how to play and how to give ourselves a chance to win. I thought we did that today. For us to claw our way back and you know, put ourselves in a good position at half time. You know, that's that's full credit to the boys. Fogarty sparked the surge, injecting life into a side that seemed set for a drubbing. Fogarty's got it back himself. Fogarty gets there. Gets there. The little legs got got me there in the end. I didn't think I was going to get there. But... And the Dons set up a thrilling second half. Don from Derby Half has scored for the Gold Coast. All for naught as the Panthers consolidated their spot at the top. 22 to 14. All better than we were last week, and we've got to be better next week. That's against the Roosters Saturday afternoon at the SCG. Mitchell Crone, Seven Gold Coast News. And three Titans may have played their last game in Coast Colours with underperformers Bryce Cartwright and Shannon Boyd negotiating early exits from their contracts. It's understood Boyd's departure will be finalised in the coming days while Cartwright seeks an immediate release for personal reasons. Injured skipper Ryan James is on the verge of signing a two-year deal with the Raiders pending a medical exam. Exactly four weeks out from his bout with Jeff Horn, Tim Zhu has hastily set up camp on the coast. A COVID spike in New South Wales has forced the 25-year-old to relocate here. Zhu believes that a stabilising move could actually give him a competitive edge. I like to get out of my comfort zone. That's where you excel as, a, as an athlete. Take me away from home. It's, it's just gives me another fire to, to win the fight. Home is always the better option because you've got your creature comforts, but it's not a bad second guess, is it? Zoo will be based on the coast for at least the next two weeks. A horse has broken the sales record at the Magic Millions this afternoon. The mare, Sunlight, went under the hammer for $4.2 million. That's $800,000 higher than the previous record set four years ago. It's a whole lot of money there, Robert. <laughs> Breathtaking, isn't it? Thanks, Amanda. Well, lifeguards braved the wet weekend conditions to re-qualify for their employment. A group of 20 hit the water at Talabudgera Creek for a time trial test of their swimming, running and paddling abilities. They included lifeguards from the coast, North Stradbroke and Brisbane. Well, some music magic's coming up. After the break, we meet an 11-year-old guitar prodigy who's already played with Carlos Santana. And how much longer will these cold winds last? I'll have the forecast coming up next. Two brothers, one girl. I should uh, stay around more often. Fine by me. Oh. This is not going to end well. I'm attracted to Tane. You sure it hasn't got something to do with the muscles? Here we go. It's about to get a whole lot worse. Coming back? Busted. Home and Away, tonight at 7 on 7. If you're road tripping, RACQ has you covered. More Queenslanders trust us to insure their cars and come to their rescue with five levels of roadside assistance. Plus, members save on fuel and more. Get yourself road trip ready with RACQ. When a cold disturbs your family's sleep, Vicks Vapor Rub relieves cough, nasal congestion, muscle aches and pains. They sleep, you sleep. Vicks Vapor Rub relieves four cough and cold symptoms. From home time to sleepy time, IKEA designs around life's precious moments. So make mess, mohawks, and laugh until your belly hurts. Because with IKEA, there really is no place like home. In order for Lego. Someone's in for some fun. Bet you love toys. You're childish. Oh, no.
we know that they're going to go back out at some stage and whether we've got them for a day or five months, mm. what can we do to invest and make a change? Authorised by the Queensland Government, Brisbane. So good to see you again, Harry. You too, Granny. I'm actually glad we split. Really? Yes. Who ever thought you could combine a supreme and pepperoni? Nothing brings people together like a Domino's half and half. Bring it in. Come and play on the Gold Coast. Explore family holiday deals at DestinationGoldCoast.com. Sharon Goodell is here with the stories coming up shortly in the news at six. Rod, the story is making news today and developing tonight. Fury over those anti-mask and border campaigners posting COVID videos online. We track down the woman behind the Bunnings confrontation. First on seven pictures of a border hopper doing a runner on the Gold Coast, we have more on what happened, plus more southerners locked out as border traffic queues return. Also another record-breaking day in Melbourne. Concerns grow about the possible spread into Queensland. Wild winds and weather down south and in the southeast, plus the chance of more later. Queensland teens risking lives riding on car roofs. Swimwear saved sea folly to survive as a buyer comes forward. The Queensland study into the impact of coronavirus on diabetes sufferers. Pain-free, recovered the next day, an Australian cataract surgery first on the Gold Coast. And the Logan suburb banishing hoons. <laughs> Look out. The neighbourhood vigilantes catching them out and seizing their cars. Those stories on 7 News shortly. Thanks, Sharon. Well, many young boys dream of becoming a rock star, but for Taj Farrant, it's fast becoming a reality. The guitar-playing prodigy has been on the coast while recording an album. With lightning fingers, Taj Farrant makes shredding look like child's play, scale upon scale, in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Equally remarkable as Taj's playing is his age. 11 years old and the virtuoso already has an impressive resume. This is Taj sharing the stage with rock and roll legend Carlos Santana. Do you think Santana was a bit threatened by you? Uh, I don't know. He didn't really say. He just said, don't fly helicopters. If the motor goes out, there's no gliding down. Sage advice for a budding rock star Taj's talent capturing the attention of The Ellen Show. It's not just dreadlocks that run in the family. Taj's father is a musician too. Yeah, I'd like to say it's me, but it's from another planet, I think. Try being his guitar teacher. Do you think he's better than you? I oh, know he's better than me. <laughs> he can do licks that I can't do. Taj's guitar is a prototype built without a headstock. You can put it in the overhead locker in a plane and it's easier to carry around. He plans to do plenty of that. His dream, touring the world, including a stop at Blues on Broadbeach. <laughs> Alex Lewis, 7, Gold Coast News. <laughs> and now to the weather. Here's 7 News meteorologist Tony Ord. Thank you, right. I don't, know, don't quite know how to follow that, but I'll try my best. After the heavy rain of the weekend, it's been a huge change today with dry westerly winds sweeping across the coast and bringing a chill. Good news, if you do prefer to be, feel a little bit warmer, they are going to ease pretty quickly. Now to our viewer pick of the day. This shot from yesterday afternoon as a band of heavy showers set in. This impressive shelf cloud striking an imposing figure over the coast beaches. A big thanks to Brooklyn Jones for sending it in. Checking the current conditions, let's head to Carrara, of course the home of Metricon Stadium and the centre of the AFL Universe right now. It's 18 degrees with those gusty winds continuing out of the west northwest. Across the coast, cloud thickened this afternoon and when combined with the wind it felt cool. 19 degrees for Rabina and Narang. Now these inland spots are normally warmer than the coast but on a cool day like this the ocean actually helps keep these coastal spots a little bit warmer and the water temperature around 21 degrees. To the satellite our cold winds are thanks to this low spinning up on the New South Wales coast here. It's the same system that brought the heavy rain over the weekend. Tomorrow well that low weakens a little and it'll move further south so our westerly winds will start to ease a bit. Combine that with a little extra blue sky and it'll feel noticeably warmer than today but a bit cooler tonight. 8 up to 21 degrees at Rabina make that 11 to 21 at Burley Heads. In the city down to 9 degrees tonight then cloud clearing for your Tuesday a top of 21 degrees. Wind's still a little bit cool but it will feel warmer than today. Boaties west northwesterlies to 20 knots early they'll turn a bit more west southwest late in the day and seas to 2 metres. 
Now checking today's surf and it dropped off quickly overnight. Just some small waves on the beaches. At least they were fanned by some offshore winds. Tomorrow remaining small to tiny. Try the beaches on a mid to low tide but I wouldn't expect too much. One, maybe two feet. Now looking further ahead, remaining dry through the course of the next week. We're looking at tops of 23 degrees on Wednesday and Thursday. Plenty of sunshine. Then cooling down a touch. 10 to 21 degrees on Friday. Then tops of 21 or 22 degrees into next weekend. So Rod and Amanda, a good chance to dry out after that weekend rain. Indeed. Thanks, Tony. That's what's been making news on the coast this Monday. We'll have more tomorrow at 5.30. The News at 6 is starting now. From us all, good night. Tonight in 7 News, arrested on the border, a man takes off from Gold Coast Airport to escape COVID testing and a warrant. A woman's madness over masks as Victoria's COVID crisis deepens. More than 500 new cases. One man in hospital, another in court after a bizarre case of mutilation at a Brisbane backpackers. Logan's Hoon vigilantes, the neighbourhood catching drivers on security cameras and seizing their cars. Less pain, quicker recovery, the breakthrough cataract surgery giving Queensland seniors their sight back. And a rock star in the making, creating waves on the Gold Coast. Live from Brisbane, 7 News with Sharon Gadella.